sun sign or your ascending sign. And what a month it is. This is possibly the best month of 2015. Now I'm kind of starting with the new moon, October 12th. That's the time that everyone can go and maximize luck and continue with upgrades, which Geminis are usually pretty good with upgrades, not like the rest of us. So here's the kind of month in two different colors. The first half, starting with the beginning up until about um, October 10th is challenging, and the second half is really pretty okay. Uh, we're starting the first half of October, the first nine days, when Mercury's still in retrograde, left over from September. And um, for you, this would, would have some kind of impact on your special talents. Um, it, if you have any children, they may have been in tutorial, they had to relearn things, and maybe some of your probability estimates are a little off, unless you were born with Mercury retrograde, but only one in four people are born with Mercury retrograde. Now the next thing we're looking at is October 3rd through 9th, and this is a Mars opposition Neptune. Now, oppositions are, are potential for balance. They aren't terribly difficult, but in this case, you are starting up something new with your family, your property, maybe you're rehabbing or you're reorganizing your home or you're getting a new basis for your happiness. Meanwhile, your career is sort of a glamorous, wild, almost out of control thing. And so you're trying to create a balance between the two because you need a basis for happiness and you need some relation to family and all talent or any kind of interest in career needs good management. So really this could serve to be sort of an anchor for you but it's confusing. So get through that period with the best you can. Um, October 4th through, through 9th, the sun is square to Pluto. Squares are a little more challenging. In this case, there's an upsurge of activity regarding your own talent, your children, and this is um, forming a kind of a challenge aspect to things like collaborations, contracts, troubleshooting, and could even be that long-term, there's some kind of snag regarding money or business. So it's a kind of a pride versus power issue, the sun being pride, the eighth house here, Pluto being power. So try to chill out your pride a little bit and, and adjust to what the powers that be. Um, now in the case of October 6th through 16th, um, that at this point now Jupiter is, um, is helping both, that there is, in this case now, things involving your home, management, and your happiness are actually pushing f forward and working in concert with things involving collaborations, contracts, troubleshooting, and business. So this could be kind of a gold mine for you. So once you pass through the test, now here you can reap your rewards. By October 9th, Mercury is now back to prograde motion. So you can see some of your special talents, your children are making if you have any children are making progress and your probability estimates are probably back on track. Why Mercury retrograde works, I don't know, but I'm just the reporter here. Um, October 12th, there's a new moon and this is in tropical Libra, but it's an astronomical Virgo. That's a little confusing, but if you, would, if you could see the sun and the moon together in the sky, they would be in the agricultural goddess right by the shaft of wheat that she's holding and that's Spica. And Spica is a very good star we're gonna talk about in a minute, but this is in your fifth house, so this gives you an opportunity to develop your special talents, to do more with your children, and there's a kind of an open um, and receptive mood. And you can really um, push forward with any kind of tactical things or kind of hopeful, wishful things. But new moons are introverted. There's a little bit of performance anxiety, so you wanna push forward and get this to work. Now the star Spica deals with science, agriculture, and philosophy, all fascinating subjects, and the scenes that this will play out, these subjects, are culture, music, and art. So the issues may be hope versus cynicism. Now in some cases, of course, we all love the idea of hope, but in other cases, maybe you have to be a little cynical just to be real. You know, I'm from Chicago, so I'm, I'm in the real, realism capital of the world here. Uh, October 10th through 14th um, is the entire time frame or time window for the new moon and uh, the experience residue that emerged from the, from the first half of October, which, which could be uh, scandals, betrayal, distractions, this, if you came out on the right side, would build strong characters. So be attuned to culture, science, and justice. These arenas provide an interesting good life, especially for you in the near fifth house. Like, this is a, kind of a glorious time of year. 
Um, also on the new moon, the new moon is in opposition to the planet Uranus, so this is really making compelling upgrades. In this case, also many surprises, new teams, could be a little bit manic, so some of your far out friends could enter into the scene where you're developing a talent situation and now they thrust themselves in. We'll try to work them into the mix as much as you can and be generous. October 4th through 20th, Mars conjunct Jupiter. Now this is a great sense of enterprise, a progressive. Um, this may be the beginning of some type of a bull market. Now you don't have to take that literally because uh, you know if you're, if you're playing in the stock market, it's really, you gotta watch it all the time. But think of it as a metaphor that there's a new upswing in terms of your family, property, and management. And there's a new basis for happiness, which is both Mar Martian, that it's pioneering and courageous, and also that you hit on some good fortune and some opportunities. So these, this is a, forming a grand trine. And so huge success and great luck. Um, of course, be prudent. But then this continues October 24th through 26th when Jupiter conjuncts Jupiter. So these are the two bright lights unite to bring joy and celebration. Great time for a party. Great time to just tell your family you love them or improve your management. Be happy. Easy for me to say. I mean, you know, <laughs> can't just be happy. Make other people happy, maybe that's the solution. Um, now, the full moon is very interesting for you. It's in your 12th house, so you can expect vivid dreams. Do write down those dreams in a little notebook because they might not make sense right away, but in six to nine months, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. And the other thing is, it's a great opportunity the full moon in your 12th house to deal with the nemesis of the shadow that is to somehow tolerate people you hate <laughs> or, or somehow form some kind of a buffer zone between uh, you and the nemesis because you, you know that's a learning experience for you in the full moon it might just drive you crazy but you know it, it'll be good for you in the long run uh, the full moon is in the andromeda galaxy which when it was discovered opened up um, a whole new vista of space and so, you know, maybe you'll discover a new spiritual interest or, uh, you know, or of some sort um, or a new talent. It's also full moon is in the constellation of the triangle. So this gives you a little bit extra potential for compassionate, truthful and righteous um, sort of mindset. And then it's also near the, the heart of the ketus, the whale. So you can feel the pulse and center of, uh, of life somehow So because high sensitive time and also in the head of the ram. So strong primal instincts, but also idealism is, is coming through. And these may come through your dreams. So really, real important to note your dreams and your intuition and just you know, kind of keep a journal during that time. This full moon is forming a grand trine with Mars and Jupiter. So there's huge conglomerates forming here for you in your life. So that spiritual component can be just what's missing. And do max these benefits in October because November is a whole different story. It is going to be a kind of a stoic and sacrifice um, type of situation for everybody. Um, uh, maybe not too bad for you, but we're all going to have to toughen up a little bit, but not be self-destructive. So um, hopefully that gives you some incentive. I don't want to scare you, but maybe that will give you some incentive to really make the most of October because it's going to switch over. So anyway, that's my forecast for you. And my name is Victoria Martin. Thank you very much for watching.